And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. And it's not one bit warmer than now than it was when we started this show, but that's okay because I have, this is a funny situation. The guest I have on now is Daniel Vincent. He is a student at Lee University. He came to the shop today to interview me and I said, oh, by the way, you need to come to the TV studio so I can interview you. So welcome, Daniel. Thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> I'm so glad Just you for said the moment. yes. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad he said yes. And he is drinking a cup, the cup of coffee, and I'm let nobody have the hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> so I, I told Daniel I said I need it because I know what Daniel's doing right now. But first of all, I told him I said I'm going to ask you why Lee University. So I chose Lee University. It almost wasn't a choice necessarily. My um, I'm the youngest of four, so my older brother, he went to Lee. My oldest sister, she went to Lee. The okay. sister above me, she went to Lee. Okay. Um, and I had been to Lee before. I had gone with my church on um, Christ and Youth events, and mm -hmm. that's um, just like a high school program that they put on so that we could um, have these, like, uh, retreats almost. Right. And so I had been to Lee twice through that. Um, I had loved it. I fell in love with the campus. I thought it was beautiful. Um, and because my siblings went there, it only made sense that um, I ended up going there as well. Right. And I think that's wonderful. Now, you are majoring in? Studio production. Studio production, which mm -hmm. makes him a lot more knowledgeable about what we're doing right now yes. than I am. Because <laughs> I just come in and everybody tells me what to do, which is, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, but you are right now, tell everybody what you're doing right now as an internship. Um, currently, I am interning at the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce. Um, I am doing digital photography for them, um, helping to build a... Um, selection of photos that can be used in upcoming resource packets um, that just let the members of the Chamber of Commerce um, keep up with, you know, the year in a recap, essentially. It'll be um, given out to the members of the Commerce at the end of the year, almost like to wrap up the year. At our annual meeting. Mm -hmm. And that is great. Now, I saw Daniel yesterday. We were at the Redback yes. Hymnal Sing. Mm -hmm. And that was sponsored by, one of the sponsors was the Chamber. Was the Chamber. Mm -hmm. So how'd you do on getting some good shots there? Um, I got a lot of really good shots, a lot of shots I'm excited about. Um, it was kind of weird, though, being the photographer. And because it's in such a circular shape around yes. the piano, it's mm -hmm. just weird because I'm just consistently going in circles. I, I noticed <laughs> you were. You were just... And that's one thing you have to be comfortable with um, in photography is being, I don't want to say in people's way, but... Essentially, I am going to be in front of people, whether they're trying to. Um, that's just part of what I have to do. I have to be comfortable with, you know, excuse me, pardon me, right. like, or just standing in front of them. Well, and yesterday we had the piano mm -hmm. in the center and then circles going out from the piano. So there really wasn't any way. I mean, you had to be on the outskirts of the circle I was to take on, photographs. Mm -hmm. I was on the outskirts um, for the majority of it, mm -hmm. but there were quite a few times where I had to cut Close. I saw, you, I saw you step in a couple close of times. Close to the piano. Yes, yeah. I, I was in some in. people's ways a few times. That's okay. You didn't bother me because I, I loved, I did not grow up singing out of the Redback Hymnal. Mm -hmm. The audience has heard that before. And so now that I have found it, I just I just love it. That was my first experience um, oh, really? with the Redback Hymnal as well. And I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't expect it to be as fun and almost um, impromptu kind of it wasn't like yes. super strict it wasn't now we're doing this turn to page this it was like we're gonna sing this and it's right. like everyone's participating it was really fun and the fun part about that is everybody but me doesn't need the hymnal yeah because they've grown up singing these songs and and I still have to have mm -hmm. the hymnal which you know and then and I was sitting next to Jerry Frazier my friend and I said what page is that on? Well, he's even got that <laughs> memorized, you know. So, yeah. so I'm I'm a verse behind sometimes on some of those songs trying to find right. it. But it was a great experience. Now, is that your first event that you showed up for to do the chamber job, or um, that was the first event? There are many more events planned. Yes. Um, well, that was the first event um, outside of the chamber. I did do um, some photography work that was actually featured on the Cleveland um, the banner. Um, during our members meeting, so. Okay, mm -hmm. good, all right. So now, who is your mentor at the chamber? Joel Henderson, um, yes. he is the director of marketing there. And he does great, so Joel's the one yes. that sent you over to the shop, and we talked about Cherish Jubilee, yes. which I'm sure you'll be covering, mm -hmm. so will. that won't, that's, not, that's not a problem. So, Daniel, once you, are you a senior this year, by the way? I am. Okay, so when you graduate, what do you hope to do with your degree? So there's a few different things um, that I've been looking at. Essentially what I want to do is I want to work in a studio setting similar to this mm -hmm. here. Um, 
live production specifically, like right. what we're doing now. Um, my main goal is one to be a technical director, um, which I will probably need to get my master's for. There's a lot more work involved in that. Um, but I am looking at a few places after I graduate, like Home Shopping Network. Oh, wow. Um, I also have a close friend who works for Dave Ramsey at his studio. Um, and he could be a potential in. Um, I don't want to. Right. Well, let's rely not jinx it. Let's not mm -hmm. jinx it. No. Yeah. Okay. So, but that's what you want to do, and I think I think that is great. Uh, of course, we're we are a small TV station, mm -hmm. Channel Five, and you and I talked. We're on Charter Five, Comcast Two Ten, and Rabbit Ears Twenty Seven. We're not really sure what that means, but Rabbit Ears Twenty Seven. <laughs> I know it's a thing. And Facebook and YouTube. So uh, I'm I'm sure you're familiar with all of those things, Facebook, yes. YouTube, and all of those. See, I'm not. I just, uh, somebody asked me one day if I watch my show. I said, no. Do you know how to watch it? I, I, I can go to, I, I do. I know how to YouTube yes. and I and I can Facebook it, but I'm never home to watch it during the day. So, so, um, so that's, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. But what led you to think you wanted to do this? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> when, I, when I first came to Lee, I had no um, direction. I had okay, no clue that's, what I, I was wondering if you came to Lee saying, no, this is what I'm going to do. No, okay. no, no. Um, I came to Lee, no clue what I wanted to do. Um, I took intro classes to lots of different things, like intro to psychology, all these different classes. Um, and <laughs> coincidentally, um, intro to, it was film and media, I believe it was, which mm -hmm. is kind of into this um, major that I've chosen. Um, I got good grades. And that class didn't get good grades in my other classes. I wasn't very school focused at the time. I was like the first time I had freedom away from my home. Yes, you're a freshman. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I was a freshman. Right. I was, you know, out of state. So like this is whole new to me. Um, but after I got good grades, I was like, well, I might as well pursue this. Um, and then I found out about studio production um, and got into that more, and I really loved it. And I think that's great. Now you're from out of state. Where, where is? What do you call home? Um, Palm Harbor, Florida. It's in the Tampa Bay yes. area. Yes. Yes, wonderful. You, how's the weather today for you? Uh, warm, <laughs> sunny. I have a couple of friends. Um, it is spring break for me and oh, for okay. Lee. So I have friends who are like in Disney World and on the beaches in Florida, which is mm -hmm. annoying because I can't be. Right, because you have an internship that you have to fulfill. I do fulfill. have an internship. That, that mm -hmm. is, that's amazing. Work how comes that, first. That, that's an adult thing, Daniel. Yeah. You know, so, so these, things, these things happen. But uh, so what do you think your job will be? I mean, you're interning with the Chambers, so what do you think some of your assignments are going to be? Um, photography work, of course, that's the mm -hmm. primary one. Um, video production as well. For okay. Cherries, I will be doing um, videography work that will really showcase what Cherries is about. Okay, good. Um, because in the past, um, it hasn't been, it's been documented, it just hasn't been um, done to an extent that really showcases like right. what Cherries is. It's right. just like more so a collection of footage, but I want something that tells a story. Um, also, I've been recently tasked with um, interviewing you, so. That was a fun thing, and yes. And you're interviewing me, so. <laughs> Yes, and that was a good swap. Tables turned. Because, that's right, <laughs> because I only had one scheduled guest for today, and I thought, ooh, I've got Daniel, here we go. So, and Daniel is drinking coffee from the, the Mill Coffee, right. and I'm drinking the hot chocolate from the Mill Coffee because we were glad to have Grant here. And Daniel had told me prior to this, he thought a lot of Lee students went over there. So, oh, yeah. so that's great. Now, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just always curious. You said yours was family-oriented, and, and that's how you got here. But I've always been curious about how some of the students got to Lee. I know there's a great music program over there. Oh, yeah. A lot of the kids come for that. Um, and I know there's pre-med programs and some of those other things. So... So you just came because brothers and sisters had been there with no idea what you were going to major in. Yes. Um, I hate to say it. I wasn't forced by any means, but I'm kind of um, a person who's notorious for going with the flow, essentially. Yeah. So my parents kind of showed me the direction, <laughs> and I was like, okay, sure. Right. I didn't know what else I was going to do. So. And I think that's um, great. But I fell in love with Lee and, immediately. And, of course, in the first interview, you heard Grant say he had a degree in sociology. Yeah. So it's probably wise that you're not going to do that. No. I mean, it, he does have some cool stories about going over to different countries. Mayor, I, yeah. yeah, I don't have that. Uh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> but maybe later. Yes, and, and there's no telling because, I, you know, I told you earlier that Bryce, who used to be my producer, is at MTSU and is working for an affiliate, uh, NBC affiliate in Nashville, and maybe now is with ESPN. So there's all kinds of things you mm -hmm. can do with what you want to do. Oh, yeah, there's a, a very large field. And the nice thing about... Um, 
my major and what I'm trying to do is the classes prepare you for a lot of different um, fields of work. So if I couldn't just do um, live production, I could also, you know, get in with film. Um, I'm good at editing. All that just comes with. Um, oh, fantastic! Studio production. So, how I know nothing about taking a <laughs> getting a degree in studio production, <laughs> obviously. So, like, how many classes? How many different classes do you have to take for studio production? Quite a few. Okay. Um, f as far as like specifically studio production, um, Lee has two studio production classes: Studio One and Studio Two, um, and those consist of us actually the class putting on live productions. Uh, the Studio 2 final is a like 30 to 45 minute live stream. Um, there's no oh. retakes, nothing. It's just we have to put on a perfect show. Um, and like that link is sent out to all of our parents and sent out to the different faculty staff so they can watch us as well. Kind of like we are live stream, but, yes. but we don't have to be perfect. No. Thank goodness, because we're not going for a grade. And <laughs> I'm so glad we're not going for a grade. But I'm excited that you're you're with the chamber, so you will be there through the remainder of the school year? Um, through the remainder of the school year, at least. Um, and then I am looking at different job positions, so I'm not sure yet um, if I'll be staying in the Cleveland area or if I will be going back home, because the Home Shopping Network is actually somewhere that I'm interested in working at, and that's right next to my home. Oh, fantastic. In okay, so now you're talking about you may need to get a master's degree. Where, where do they offer master's degrees in studio production or whatever it is you'd get the master's in? Quite a few um, places. Um, actually, where Bryce is going is a, a MTSU. Yeah, okay. MTSU is a really good place. Um, that's actually somewhere that I've been looking at too, um, but I still need to put a lot more looking into it. I understand. Sadly. I didn't know whether there was anything offered in Florida. Um, yeah, uh, there's a few places. Um, I think not USF. Actually, I think USF does have um, a master's program in that. It's becoming more and more relevant. So. I can understand that because everything's gone to technology and like Facebook and YouTube and all of that and then TV production yeah. and home shopping mm -hmm. and all of that. So I know yesterday I bought four different things on my phone, mm -hmm. you know, so I, and I have never done that before. Not really sure I should have, but I did. So we'll yeah. see. We will see. But, um, but, that, but all of that is is just this the future? It's well, it's not in the future. It's yeah. what's here now. It's what's now, and it's what's going to continue to be as my generation, you know, generation um, progresses. We're all just going to become not reliant on technology, but very well technologically versatile. And that's why my generation, some of them are, and some of yes. us are not. And, yes. so, and we just do the barely what we can get through. Daniel, thank you so much for being on with me. Thank you so much for letting me rope you into being on. But of I course. Said one interview deserved another interview. So, And I'm thrilled you're going to be working with the Chamber. And I'll have, I've already talked to Melissa. I've got to have her back on to talk about the Charleston thing. I've got to have um, uh, Joel on to talk about something he said I don't know, is that uh, the the video thing that we all sit and listen to the leadership? What's it called? I don't even remember. But yeah. anyway, I have to have him on to talk about that. So so I will have some people from the chamber, and they may tap you and say, you awesome. go instead. They might send me with the information. That's Who knows? right. I'd be fine with and that, that. And that'll be fine. Daniel, thank you so much for being on with me today. Thank you so much for having me. Folks, don't go away. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. But now you know what I say. Watch our commercials, support our sponsors because they pay our bills. And I will be right back with some updates of what's going on in the community the rest of this week and possibly this weekend and even further out. So don't go away. I'll be right back.